Well, thanks for joining me again there, folks. Um, this is going to be the actual haul video that I plan to do in my first video, but I'm going to start off here with a really quick view of the card art of the Wave 5 POC Snake Eyes. It's a Ninja Commando is what he's called, and here's the card art here. So you can see that version 2 head right there and the little wrap. And I'll, I'll go ahead and, and do a close-up on the file card, and if you really want to read it, right now you need to hit pause and then read it and then unpause and continue on with the video okay so then here we go I did get the also along with all of this fun stuff that's falling down all over the place ruining my video sorry about that I did get the POC Wave 5 Crazy Legs figure Assault Trooper. He's a paratrooper is what he is. And he's actually an army ranger, I believe. And he comes with a stalker submachine gun and a, a pit viper machine gun and a pistol. Accessories are kind of lacking here. I do like that gun though, but I don't know how well the the uh, folding stock is going to stay on. But he looks good and I, and I can't wait to get him out and um, give him a closer look. Looks like he's got the snow serpent legs there. I also got um, the rock viper, who is pretty cool looking. Um, comes with a lot of cool stuff. He's got that backpack with the two hooks from the. I think the first figure it came out with was the City Strike Snake Eyes. He's got that cool sniper rifle that, that the, the Zartan came with. A little MP5K there, pistol, and a spear. Cool removable helmet, it looks like, and a rock climbing tool. So, he's a rock viper. He's pretty cool. If you want to see his file card, pause now and read it. Let me give you Crazy Legs' as, uh, file card for those of you out there that really want to read it. Pause now and read. Alright, and the last uh, Pursuit of Cobra figure that I did get is I did get the new Viper and I was very excited in seeing photos of him to get him because um, I'm hoping that he has the swivel and pivot wrists that will help him actually hold his rifle much better than the 25th figure did. Although I did uh, listen to a podcast uh, titled What's on Joe Mind, and the experts on there, the G.I. Joe experts on that podcast did say that he still can't really hold his rifle. But uh, you never know, I might be able to monkey with him and get him to hold it. And he's also got a rocket launcher in here that um, very much looks like the rocket launcher that came in the Resolute 5 pack which is probably the best spring-loaded rocket launcher that uh, Hasbro has made there's his file card if you want to pause and read do it now alright so I can't wait to pop this guy open and uh, if I think he's worthy enough I'll give him a review and you can watch that. And then lastly, I the last figure I'm going to end on here is a Star Wars The Vintage Collection figure that I have highly anticipated and I cannot wait. I'm probably going to rip them open as soon as I press uh, the button on this camera here. And this is the Attack of the Clones uh, Clone Trooper, basic Clone Trooper. And there he is. And I've seen lots and lots of photos of him online. He's an all new sculpt. Everything on this figure as far as I know is new. I even think that belt is new. Uh, new helmet sculpt. The guns are new. I even think that DC-15 carbine right there might be a new sculpt. I know that the DC-15 rifle is mostly new. It's even got some paint details on it there. There's the really cool uh, view of his photo from Attack of the Clones. He's just dropped off the gunship, which you can see kind of in the background. And there's that pod right there. And he's taking out some uh, super battle droids. 
so that uh, they can rescue the the um, the uh, Jedi. Here's his first appearance on a Star Wars Attack of the Clones card. All right, 2002. And then here's the other figures in the wave, which I wish they would. This is one thing that I think is missing on the back of the Joe cards. VX Search, Search, Cirque. I don't know. Uh, he he looks fantastic though that figure. I don't, uh, I'll probably have to get him. I definitely want to get the Luke Skywalker Dagobah. My buddy Dave has him and he's awesome. Probably the the figure on this whole wave that I want to get the most after this Attack of the Clones figure. Uh, clone Trooper figure is the ATRT driver. Cannot wait to find and buy him. Second one that I probably want is General Lando Calrissian. He looks spectacular. And we case Squiff Master, Skiff Master. I don't know if I'm going to get him or not. Depends. So there you go. There you have it. There is the AOTC or Attack of the Clones Clone Trooper. So, fill your eyes with what it looks like carded, because I'm about to uncard this figure. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this um, video. <clears throat> uh, please definitely um, comment, rate, subscribe, and um, all that good stuff. And also, just as a really quick aside, um, this Thursday, today is May the 16th, this Thursday, May the 19th, I am going to be doing another CAFN um, Action Figure Customizer podcast with my, my good friend, Tamer, and we will be featuring um, Luke Spyrocker, who is uh, well, v very well known on Imperial Shipyards, but he's also on a lot of other sites. And so definitely tune in. I'll be live on Ustream with uh, my co-host uh, Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so look for that. And you can find me and you can find my show on um, Facebook. And you can just search for CAFN or Custom Action Figure News Podcasts. All right. So uh, look that up, and you can also go on Ustream and look up uh, Lucas Clones or Custom Action Figure News, and um, tune in and listen, and if you really like the show, go on iTunes and subscribe. You can go to iTunes Store and click on the Podcast tab and search for Custom Action Figure News and hit the Subscribe for Free button and listen to all of our past podcasts as well as get updates on when we upload new ones. So anyhow, um, alright. We'll uh, see you next time. May the Force be with you. Bye-bye.